Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about the F91 encoder loss fault on the PowerFlex 525 drive. So on the display, it'll say F91 encoder loss. And what that means is there is something wrong in the encoder circuit, but it's not really clear what it is. So I just want to take a few moments to talk about things that could be the issue. So first of all, this one does have the encoder option on it. And I already have a video where we put the encoder option on and also we um, simulate it with our encoder simulator. Uh, in this video, we're actually gonna be using our servo simulator because mainly where in the previous video, we had fixed frequencies. We were putting a commanded speed into the drive. In this case, we are actually going to vary the frequency that we're putting on the encoder based off of the analog output of the drive. So a little bit about how we connect it. First of all, we have it connected where our potentiometer is controlling our drive speed and the meter is displaying the frequency output in a scale of zero to 10 volts. And we have a video on how we got it set up to this point. And then after that, we've taken our A, A naught, B and B naught on our encoder option card and connected them to the top of our servo simulator. And then we have taken and added one additional wire from that previous video that is going over here to terminal number 16, which is our analog output. So that's how we're simulating the frequency of an encoder that would be connected to the back of a motor onto the PowerFlex 525 drive. So with it connected that way, if we press the start button, it'll run up just normal. But now, let's talk about a few things that could cause this error 91. As first, if our encoder simply came unplugged, then immediately we are going to get that error 91. The other thing is if it is missing a single channel. So when you look at this, you see it says A, A naught, B, and B naught. Well, the A and the A naught will always be opposites. And the B and the B naught will also always be opposites. So if we bring this back up, and then we just take the B naught off, then immediately it knows that there's a problem because the B and the B naught end up matching. So there's just a couple quick tips. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.